faithful are required to fast and abstain from meat in the spirit of participating in the passion of Christ for the salvation of humankind and making atonement for the sins of themselves and their neighbors. They are obliged to abstain from meat every Friday and both fast and abstain from meat on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. The share saved by the practices should be used for the church's almsgiving. Fasting and abstinence. You've all heard of it, right? Not only have you heard of it a lot, but do you observe it well? If anyone has not observed it well, how about listening to the explanation from now on? Our topic for today is fasting and abstinence. First, fasting means skipping one meal a day and abstinence is refraining from eating meat. As you all know, it is not done on a daily basis, but on a fixed day, looking more closely at when it should be done. During ordinary time, we observe abstinence on every Friday, which is the day of the week Jesus died. While both fasting and abstinence are observed on Ash Wednesday, as the beginning of Lent, and on Good Friday of the Lord's Passion, which is the day Jesus died. For what? To join, even for a while, the sufferings which Jesus went through for our salvation, and to make up for the sins committed by us and our neighbors, and also to break the chains of sin and lust, while sharing with neighbors what we have saved by joining the suffering of the poor. Therefore, fasting and abstinence are the obligations for Catholics to fulfill, because it enables us to think about Jesus regularly while making us set our bodies and minds towards God on a regular basis. Abstinence from the age of 14 until death. Fasting between the ages of 18 through 59. Then, when and why did fasting and abstinence begin? The most important festival in the early church was Easter Sunday, celebrating Easter and the resurrection of Jesus. The faithful started fasting for a day or two before Easter in the meaning of practicing asceticism and preparing spiritually to follow Christ. In the sense of imitating Jesus' fasting for 40 days in the wilderness before his public ministry, there was Lent, where the faithful fasted for 40 days to prepare for Easter. Fasting had originally meant to consume only one full meal a day, and the rule of abstinence was added to refrain from meat and alcohol. However, although fasting and abstinence are of good intentions to prepare for Easter and almsgiving, they need to be considered in certain areas depending on the times, regions, and personal circumstances. Therefore, since 1966, Pope St. Paul VI relaxed the rules of atonement and fasting by allowing only one full meal a day while not prohibiting taking some food in the morning and evening. At the same time, appropriate and effective regulations were left to the Catholic bishops' conferences in each country. However, the easing of fasting and the rule of abstinence does not make them meaningless or it does not mean the abolition of Ash Wednesday. Rather, it aims to restore the fundamental spirit of Ash Wednesday of fasting and abstinence through moderation and self-discipline more suited to our times. Abstinence, observed on Fridays of ordinary time, can be observed through no meat, no alcohol, no smoking, good works, almsgiving, sacrificing, and family prayers. Meanwhile, the share saved from fasting and abstinence is used for almsgiving. It is not simply because fasting and abstinence are important, but because it is truly meaningful to share what we have saved through temperance with our neighbors in need. In the end, it can be said that fasting and abstinence are to prepare for resurrection internally and externally by practicing self-discipline with the spirit of penance and to practice love through the virtue of temperance. Then, what is the practice of love, in other words, almsgiving? Almsgiving is giving what I have to Jesus, who is present in my neighbors. Because Jesus gave us his own body and blood without sparing, so in response, we also give back what we have received to him. 
We do it with gratitude, joy, and praise, with a willing heart and the fullness of God in the Holy Spirit. Lord, help me realize that the more I give, I will rejoice and be glad in you. Amen.